YouTube, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting morning. Why? It's because I got my first six cent sack subscription package um, in the mail this morning, actually. And I wanted to do a live unboxing for you guys. I have not took a peek in here. All I've done was take it out of the box. And this is what it's come with. So we're both going to be excited about what's in this particular sack. Quick background about this and why I'm so excited. I've had several subscription packages before. I really do like them because you're able to um, see different baits, try different things that you probably particularly wouldn't try uh, from a technique standpoint, from a color standpoint, uh, a particular style of fishing standpoint. But over the past year, I've really become a fan of Sixth Sense and what they're doing in the fishing realm from the colors, the style of baits. Um, and they'll, you know what? They catch fish. So I'm tired of waiting. Let's get into this. I'm not even going to look in there, so I'll take it out one by one so I can be surprised. Number one, we have a crankbait. This is the Six Cents Munch, 7 16 ounce, two and a half. Um, this is going to be, the. it's called the Black Magic, and it's going to dive two to five feet. I love, love, love throwing crankbaits. If I want to throw a moving bait, I'm going to put a crankbait in my hand. I'm going to fish it shallow. I love this dark color they use um, because, you know, out here in Texas, we got a lot of dark water. Um, this is going to be something different as well. So crankbait fishing, 12 pound line, seven foot rod, medium. You know, I, I want to burn this through different types of uh, rock cover as far as uh, brush piles, lay downs. Um, I'm actually going to upload a video. Me and my buddy Brock, we fished a tournament on Sabine. We caught a ton of fish off a of crankbait and jerkbait. And that right there is going to be the winner. I'll take it out of the package for you guys so you guys can kind of get a better look. Oop, dang, almost whooping my face. All right. There it is, guys, right there. The Six Cents Munch. And the color is called the Black Magic. And it's going to dive two to three, two to three feet down but that right there is going to be a money i love the bottom too look at that got the little chartreuse with the red i love that's one other thing i love about their paint jobs on their bases absolutely insane some of the color patterns they come up with all right so that's bait number one number two this is a another looks like a crank bait actually it looks like a let me make sure I tell you guys right. Crank bait design. So this is like a, a wake bait, um, but same style. It's called the movement. Five eighth ounce. It dives. Yeah, zero to one foot. So this is kind of like a top water. But so this bait is going to go right up under the surface of the water. This is a wake bait. It's really going to push off a lot of vibration in the water. But that is your wake bait right there by the six and um, this color is called the custom bluegill, which I really, really like because a lot of water I fish around here is um, has bluegill in it. Um, this definitely should get bit, you know, early in the morning. I probably would throw this on, you know, my top water rod with some mono left while I throw my poppers on for sure. But that right there, I'm definitely going to throw that right there. That's cool. I don't think I have a freshwater wake bait. I usually throw wake baits when I'm going to go out to the marsh and catch some redfish. I really like throwing wake baits for that. Number three, we got another crankbait. This is called the Crush. This is a silent. This is a nice color pattern too. So you guys might wonder, like, why so many crankbait styles? It's the summer. Crankbait fishing is at its peak for sure. This color is called... The chrome thread fin. So, of course, there's a bait fish called thread fin that bass love to eat. The thread fin shad. And this right here is the chrome version. And it's the silent version of that. So there's no rattle in it. It's silent. But that right there, the chrome thread fin shad. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely have room for that to throw. Again, 
it's gonna go you know two to three foot 12 pound line seven foot medium rod sometimes seven foot three depends on how far i want to get that casting distance but that right there man again this is why i love the subscription packs three baits that i you know probably would have not purchased or probably it'll overlook in the store um, or online. But guess what? Now that I have it in my possession, I can definitely use them. I can try them in different uh, techniques and try them to throw them different ways and different cover options that I have. You know, sky's the limit. I feel like there's some another big pack. All right. Swim jig for the grass. Swim jig, the axle swim jig, swinging swim jig. So this is a black bluegill. The swinging means that the head is going to move. So it's going to give a little bit more action to the trailer that you put on there. I'm not going to undo the skirt. The skirt is tied up. But I'm just going to unpack it so you guys can get a better look. That hook is really in there pretty good. But I really like that. Again, we got dark water down here. We got that black trailer. Um, I will, I will put a black and blue trailer on there, maybe a crawl, a thicker crawl. Um, I would definitely throw, um, a swim bait on the end of that. It's got a nice head on it, but it's a swinging head. So, which means this head right here, as you guys can see, it moves up and down. That's going to be really unique. You know, something that a lot of swim jigs, you know, the head is stationary. It's just like that. It doesn't move. Uh, but that right there is going to give off. A lot of up and down, side to side as well. And again, I'm going to throw a trailer on there, a swim bait style trailer with that. Fish that along uh, grass lines. Uh, fish that uh, along a lay down for sure. I like that. Axle swim jig. And I actually, that's, this is going to be my first swim jig from Six Cents. So again, the sack is paying off for itself. And this is a 6 art hook. So it's a nice uh, big hook uh, for those big bites. And it's, a, it's the weight of this is a uh, half ounce and it's a screw lock, which I like. That means that bait, uh, the trailer you put in there is going to stay pinned uh, on that bait. You don't have to freaking mess around with it every time you cast it and reel it back in. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Next one. Crankbait again. The Swank 66. This dives two and a half feet, half ounce weight. Now, I really like this. So I'm also a huge fan of Strike King. Um, and I first uh, seen this bait from Strike King. Um, again, if you guys know anything about bass fishing, Strike King and Kevin Van Dam. Shout out to KVD for, you know, amazing 33 years on the, in the bass industry. But when I first started, I'll, I learned. I learned. I'm a visual learner. So I learned from watching the pros. And I watched KVD always throw around a, a, a crankbait. But this new bait here, this is, this is very different than your normal crankbait because of that bill up front. See how it has that little hook on the end? So typically a crankbait will run like this, boom, 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 right? This down action. But with this bill right here, it's going to keep it along the surface like this. Um, keeps it even. This is really good for fishing on top of grass. That's why I really like throwing it. And I first threw this um, with, the, uh, with the Strike King version of this bait. Uh, and it works really well, um, especially for you're really, really shallow and you really want to throw a crankbait and you're worrying about getting hung up possibly or, or catching, you know, some grass. Having that bill keep you up level, you know, through the water column is really key. Um, and then, of course, you've got that bright, nice color. So if I got some like chocolate milk stained uh, water, uh, I would definitely throw that um, for sure. Uh, I and it's it's got. It's got a good rattle to it as well, which I like. So the six cent swank, sixty six. I really like that man. We're definitely gonna give that a shot. The color for this one, this is the tiger truce. So that tiger is at the orange and the chartreuse yellow body with the green eye. I kind of like that too, and a black back. Nice. Man, we winning with this sack right now. Let's see. This is a this sack feels like a big one. So it's a, looks like a soft plastic. It is soft plastic, and this is the six cents clout gill dust color. I mean, nothing special about this. This is just a good old fashioned cinco. 
Gill dust is the color. Looks like a green pumpkin with some purple flake, purple and orange flake. Um, this is going to be really good for, you know, a Rocky rig, Texas rig. Um, I would definitely Texas rig, dick, Texas rig this. I would put it on a shaky head. But that is a nice worm. So if you guys know a shaky head is hung like this with the hook. So that gives you some really good action there with that. I can put it on a shaky head, let it stand up nice and big. I like the size of this because, you know, a big fish is going to want a big meal. Um, so sometimes you need to throw a big bait to catch those bigger fish. Sometimes you need to downsize. But this right here, I haven't, again, another bait right here. I haven't bought any of the six cents uh, soft plastic worms, Cinco's. Um, I'm definitely going to throw this out as well. Again, this is the six cents clout, 6.3. So that's a uh, 6.3 inch worm. Again, Texas rig. I would throw this on a Tokyo rig as well. I would definitely wacky rig or nickel rig this bait. And the gill dust color. I'm loving it, guys. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I think there's one more thing in here. Yep, it feels like some hooks. And it is. And perfect. So these two baits are going to go hand to hand. These two things right here. So we got the six cents uh cinco and then they gave us the wacky hooks as well all right those six cents is the size number one uh wacky hook can never have enough wackies uh wacky rig is cool man it's such a cool bait to throw yes a lot of people throw it um i really really like throwing a wacky rig when i'm fishing boat docks um because i can slow down um, I don't have to fish it slow. I would fish it fast. But that right there, that number one wacky hook. Let me see. Very sharp. Very, very, very sharp. Love it. Size one. Um, again, I'm going to throw this, these two right here together. I'm going to show you exactly how I would do it. I'm going to throw this on a spinning rod. Medium. I'm going to throw it on eight to ten pound uh, fluoro as my leader. I got a 10, I use 10 pound braid as the main line, but I'm going to fish it just like that. Oop, fumble right there. Wacky style. You guys can see it. Hook it right through the bait and I'm going to bounce that under a boat dock next to a lay down as well for those fish that don't really want to bite. That right there is going to get you bit right there, guys. For sure. Awesome. I am super excited about this, this sack, guys. Uh, I've been wanting to try a different style, style of box. And because I really just started to fall in love with the Six Sense uh, brand, um, I think I'm going to stick with this for a while, uh, for sure. I do have another special pack coming from them. It's a bait that just been released. So if you guys follow Six Sense channel, you probably know what that is already. But I will do an unveiling for that as well. But in the meantime, guys... Thanks so much for watching. I hope um, you guys were excited as I was about um, the six cents sack for the month of September. Um, stay tuned. I will do an unveiling for April. Give me a comment, uh, a like and a comment, guys, down in the box below. If you feel like you want to see me fish these baits and different scenarios and how I rig those particular baits up, drop a comment down there. Again, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and until next time, tight lines.